All right, everybody, today's lab, we need to find out, do you know what is renewable versus non-renewable? So let's take a look at a few items. You put them in the right box. All right, so right off the get-go, let's take a look at oil. Take a look at that. Regular old motor oil, what we pour on our cars to keep them from seizing up or peanut oil, what you might cook with, especially if you're using high heat because it has a low flash point. So motor oil, cooking oil, both oil, where do they get? Well, what about something like coffee? Oh yeah, now. This is coffee that's already ground or the actual coffee beans. Oh yeah, these are yummy. So coffee, where does it go? Renewable, non-renewable. All right, here's one for you you see all the time. What about Aluminum, whether it's in aluminum foil, whether it's a piece of aluminum aircraft grade aluminum, something that we might use in a lab setting, a little tin, or even something that we have around the house to prop our electronics on. Aluminum, renewable, non. All right. Here's another one for you. Plain old gasoline. Gasoline. So we can cue up the pyrotechnics here. Some out. Woo! Gasoline. What do you think? Renewable? Non renewable? Hey. Well, and I guess, while we're on the topic of flammables, let's look at another one. No, not my coffee. Isopropyl alcohol is what you may find at the uh, grocery store, uh, pharmacy, etc. So a little bit of alcohol, once again, fire up the pyrotechnics. <laughs> Fire! Alcohol. Renewable? Non-renewable. Hey, hey, go out. All right, well, that's enough right here in the lab for now. This is science, after all. And renewable and non-renewable is not just in the lab. So let's head out into the field and see what we can find there. All right, well, what about that? Renewable, non-renewable. And as long as we're talking about that, what about this? Regular old two by four. So two by four, renewable, non-renewable. Massive live oak tree, renewable, non-renewable. You decide. All right, well, what about this? Or this? Or, yeah, this, iron, iron. We can forge it, turn it into steel, have just the raw iron, or here, but what do you think? Renewable? Non-renewable, you decide. Oh yeah, or what about this? Looking for placer deposits and uh, ha -ha. yeah, a diamond in the rock. What do you think? Is my diamond renewable or non-renewable? Don't need this stuff. 
All right, well, what about this? Rubber on my tire. Now we're gonna make a presumption that this is real rubber and not something synthesized. What do you think? Renewable, non-renewable. And while we're here, what about this? My front bumper. Not metal, yeah, good old fashioned, made in America, probably. Plastic, so plastic. Renewable, non-renewable. Okay, well, what about this? Or this? Or this? Well, if you're struggling, let's take a look. Glass is actually made of this, silicates that we basically get out of sand. So we take sand and turn it into glass. So, renewable, non-renewable. All right, well, we're back in the lab, so let's take a look at something else. Something maybe like copper. So I have my money, my money, copper, or in a wire, let me get this off, ah, yeah, copper. So, what do you think? Renewable, non-renewable. Woo, hard work. Well, Let's take a look at something else. What about good old-fashioned sugar? Yeah, just plain old sugar. Now you shouldn't eat a lot of it because it's not good for you. <laughs> oh yeah. What do you think? Renewable? Non-renewable? Gotta wash this down. Well, while I'm out here at the park, surrounded by all kinds of both renewable and non-renewable resources, if you're still struggling, it sort of comes down to this. What's the definition? And you're gonna find several and many. But the working definition we're gonna go from, but the working definition we're gonna go from is, is it going to come back in your lifetime? lifetime of a human might be a little bit long for renewable, but it's pretty much right on. If the earth can reproduce it and replace it within a human lifespan, we refer to it as renewable. So although the earth is in the process of renewing all of these things, it's in the process of making new iron, new copper, new diamonds, new grass, new trees, air, etc. The question you want to really ask yourself is, is the earth going to make it back within a human lifespan? Use that as your benchmark and you should be good. All right, take care guys and we'll see you next time.